Welcome back. Well, Indonesia's crypto market continues to grow as the volatile market attracts traders in the country. However, challenges such as government regulations and cybersecurity still remain. Metro Globe's Audrey Widodo spoke with the chief education officer of Wagmi Media and the vice chairman of the Indonesian Crypto Consumer Association, Anthony Cipto Diharjo, to gain more insight on the Indonesian crypto investment sentiment amid the current rally for many crypto assets. So what kinds of factors do you think affect the Indonesian crypto market? And what are the, some signs that show you that the market performance is high? I think for Indonesian crypto market, uh, for retail, we have been getting more attention in the last two weeks because of, again, uh, price and volatility. Indonesian retail market really loves when there's volatility in the market. If the market were to stay stagnant like the last couple of weeks in december of 2022 uh, a lot of people were like uh, taking crypto as a market that's not active anymore but once the volatility comes back uh, people start paying attention to crypto again and they also look at what tokens have been gaining a lot they look at the success stories of the last uh, five 5x tokens like Aptos and Solana, who did a 3x from the market cycle bottom uh, last year. But what affects the market performance is that I think as a business, this is a very good time to hire because there's a lot of great talents across Indonesia, not only in outside, but a lot of people in Indonesia is a good blockchain programmer and if you are looking to build a product in web3 now is good a time as any to start hiring but for investing i would uh, be cautiously optimistic with the last two weeks of price action because there's a lot of economic data that's going to come in the next week or two um, most importantly is the us gdp data coming in on the 27th of this week and also the 1st of February we are going to see FOMC meeting which many people believe to um, I think it's around 70 percent probability that we're going to see a 25 BPS rate hike but aside from that I think market performance right now is quite low in terms of activity new projects coming in people are still um, being very cautious about hiring and expanding their team but those who are building great products i think will reap the benefits in the next bull market what has it been like in indonesia with crypto trading are there any challenges with regulations that have made it difficult for traders um the challenges in trading or investing in cryptocurrency in indonesia is maybe the tokens listed in exchanges as they don't have as much variety as compared to other exchanges outside like Binance. Um, but I think it's also because we have yet to set proper regulations as to what tokens can and cannot be listed in an exchange. But aside from that, I think the lack of um, financial instruments like futures exchange in Indonesia also limits the strategies available to Indonesian crypto investors. For example, if I want to do ETH staking, but I want to lock my ETH price for, let's say, at $2,000, I can, in outside exchanges, I have the ability to short Ethereum at a one to one leverage, which does not cost me a lot of money while also still getting a 5% yield per year denominated in Ethereum. So I can lock the price without taking the risk of volatility. But for trading, I think the difficulty lies in the different time zones because crypto is very much active in the US trading hours. So it starts usually at 8 p.m. in Indonesia and it ends at around uh, 3 a.m. So if you want to catch big moves, sometimes you have to adjust your trading hours 
to uh, U.S. trading hours. So do you think in Indonesia, in terms of just being educated on the cryptocurrency exchange market, do you think there's still room for growth in that? In terms of education level, there is a lot of work to be done because sadly, Indonesians only pay attention mostly to tokens that have made aggressive gains in the past. For example, like a 10x token will receive a lot of attention, especially if um, it's made in in the country, made in Indonesia, or it is marketed towards Indonesians. For example, like uh, meme tokens like Doge and Shiba is very famous in Indonesia. Um, and I believe that there is no inherent value to uh, invest, in, invest in such a token. But I think what Indonesian markets need to understand more is about the consensus mechanism and how a blockchain is valued using total value locks and the amount of decentralized apps built on top of the layer ones. I think once they get that basic knowledge of the whole blockchain technology, they will be able to invest with more uh, conviction and certainty.